Uh, my name is David Gettner, and welcome to the Wartburg Conference Center. Uh, we are so very pleased to be able to host this, this debate this evening for Mount Vernon City Council Democratic primary to be held on September 10th. It's truly a special evening for us. Again, I'm David Gettner. I'm the Wartburg President. Uh, we are one of Mount Vernon's oldest institutions, one of the area's largest local employers, and a 34-acre campus is home to nearly 500 elders in our community, many of whom who have joined us uh, here this evening. It's great to see you. Who will introduce the candidates, the moderators, and outline the rules and format for this evening. Mr. Lawrence is the chairman of Westchester County Homeowners Association, chairman of Westchester County Crime Stoppers Incorporated, co-vice chair of the Westchester County Charter Revision Commission. He is president and CEO of Market View Resources Incorporated. Mr. Lawrence. John F. Kennedy once said that primaries are good because they illuminate the quality of the candidates. Today I'll keep it simple and say primaries narrow the field of candidates. They will take the seven that we have and produce three. That's sort of crass, but that's sort of the reality. Each of these candidates really are making a sacrifice by stepping forward and putting their reputation on the line, their resume on the line, and it's a burden. It's a task on them and their families. And uh, we should salute them for stepping forward. I'd like to give them a round of applause. <laughs> the rules are pretty simple. What we have is a two-hour formatted debate. And the first part of it will be opening remarks from each of the candidates. Uh, they will go from my left here all the way out. They've been seated based on a, a number that was chosen prior to this debate. And uh, so the first question will go to Marcus. The next time around, the first question will go to the next person, which is Roberta and uh, Andre the third, and so on. So that's the way in which it will go. So everyone will have a first question asked to them. Uh, all candidates have been made aware of the rules, and so they accept that. In the event, in the response to a question, any of them uh, references the name of another candidate, that candidate will get an opportunity re to respond to a rebuttal for one minute. Within that rebuttal, if that candidate then tries or uh, makes an alleged remark against another candidate, that's the way it remains. We're not going to go back and forth, and all the candidates are aware of that. So without any further ado, I want to introduce our moderators. Our first moderator will be Hugh Marriott. He's the pastor of the uh, Allen Memorial Church in Mount Vernon. So at this point, I'm going to turn the debate over to our first moderator to get started. Thank you, Derrickson. Um, for all the candidates, uh, with the understanding that the City Council has legislative authority over the city, we're going to ask that you provide us now with your one-minute opening remarks, beginning with Marcus. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Marcus Griffith. I'm running for City Council. Uh, you may remember that I was on the City Council uh, four years ago. Um, I decided to run for controller and was not successful. During my time on the City Council, I feel I was an excellent council person. Uh, my skill sets have a background in finance and accounting. Uh, and I believe that is one of the skill sets that we need uh, on the City Council. Another skill set that I have is that I was a member of the Westchester County Planning Board for 10 years. And subsequent from me not being a council person, I was appointed to the Mount Vernon uh, Planning Board. And those are two skill sets that I think are very important at this time. Did I? Yeah. You can give Marcus 15 seconds. We have yeah. a problem with Mike. Thank you. Uh, so you finish up. So all in all, um, when you're picking your uh, people for city council, you need to pick people that have the skill sets that the city needs. And I believe those two, those two skill sets are very important. Thank you.
My name is Roberta Apuzo, and I'm running for an, I am an incumbent running for a second term for the Mount Vernon City Council. I am the executive director of Community Service Associates, which is the largest soup kitchen in southern Westchester, and I am currently going into my 20th year as the director of that program. I am a stakeholder in this community, and I'm not going to tell you all the things that I have done because I see that my palm cards are out. I am invested in this community. I have family in this community that own properties. I have given my time, my service, my dedication, my commitment, and my leadership, and I hope that I will be able to serve you again for the next four years. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Andre Bailey, and I'm running for city council in Mount Vernon. I am a husband. I'm a father of three. I'm a retired state trooper with 30 years of service. I am also a homeowner in Mount Vernon and also a very concerned citizen. Taxes in Mount Vernon are too high and so is crime. Our infrastructure needs looking at. We cannot get potholes fixed at any time in a reasonable amount of time. We cannot um, street lights. We have a problem with them. Also, Memorial Field, which is the, big, the biggest thing here, the white elephant in the room. All that is is a pile of rocks. Westchester County continually dumps their social programs on the city of Mount Vernon. My name is Yana Edwards. Firstly, allow me to thank Derrickson and Lawrence, the Westchester County Homeowners Coalition, and Wartburg for arranging and orchestrating this forum. To have organizations such as the Fleetwood Neighborhood Association and others associations and tuned into this endeavor is so important. I believe that this city's greatness can only be realized if organizations such as th these work together with our city, with our city government. I appreciate the opportunity to reinforce my commitment to the citizens of this great city over the next few hours. I also see this as an opportunity to negate the misinformation recently distributed. Uh, I am completing my first full term on the city council, and now is not the time to deviate from experience. I, along with Roberta Puzo, Marcus Griffith, have the experience necessary to continue the many great things happening or about to happen in Mount Vernon. Some of our opponents would have you believe we are going backwards. Trust me, we are not. Thank you. Good evening, community, Mount Vernon, and the organizations that put this evening together. My name is Maria Carabello. I'm running for city council for the city of Mount Vernon for 2013. I will fight for the great city that I grew up in. I have been here all my life. I have raised my family, my children, and I have been an advocate for this city for many years. I have fought for lower taxes. We are not heard with the present council. We need to fight for our seniors, our children, our taxpayers. Foremost, we need to fight for our community. We need to take it back. This is our community, a community that we were raised in, a community that we love. The present council has not done that. Take a walk outside, look out your front door, if you like the direction you are going in this city, then vote for who you know to vote for. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Damaris Monet, or as my mother would prefer, Damaris Monet. I have come here this evening to seek your support for the Democratic nomination for city council. As a homeowner, my family and I have lived in the heart of Mount Vernon, known as the South Side for a little more than a decade. To many of you, I'm just a newcomer. But I have been here long enough to see the challenges and the suffering of far too many residents throughout this city. I could no longer sit by watching our beloved city fall apart, knowing that the experience, the skills, and the ability to help. Our city is crumbling under the weight and burden of high taxes due to the failure of communication, obstruction, and poor long-term planning. Our troubles have been compounded by a lack of economic development that would have generated jobs and revenue to help relieve the burden on the city's taxpayers. 
As a result, it is causing inefficient and inadequate services for the very residents and businesses that are paying. Good evening, everybody. My name is Damon K. Jones, and I'm running for City Council of Mount Vernon. I have been a correction officer for 23 years, and my wife is a police officer here in Mount Vernon, and we have two children. I decided to run for Mount Vernon because after 23 years, I've seen three generations of men and children and mothers come in and out of the county jail. And something has to change in this city. First of all, you need leadership with vision and ideas. You need leadership that's going to understand that the city must be sacred, safe, and busy. Sacred meaning you need leadership that will bring people together. Safe, you mean you need leadership that will make the city safe. And busy, you need leadership that's going to bring businesses to employ our young people and our mothers and our children. Thank you very much. All right.